working together. So, property rights and managing these communities, these new clusters, will be, at a European level, a challenge in the future. How we can work together at long term view, a long term view, with business, with the scientific base, directing to one challenge. This is the, the different policies the government will develop to help to pursue these challenges. Nine and two minutes, environments and regions with the ability to incorporate acknowledge innovation. Inside Catalonia, we've got different regions. The research plan and innovation plan goes to address all the regions. For people from outside, this is the Delta Ebro, this is the south of Catalonia, with the mountains of sports, per se. So, how can it help to all territories to develop skills needed? Or, aquest discurs de la recerca i la innovació només és per les grans concentracions de recerca en un lloc. Aquest és un problema clau. A Europa s'han adonat compte que les polítiques de cohesió de fer carreteres arreu no fan cohesió. La cohesió només se logra quan fas activitats de valor afegit que van als territoris. Per tant, haurem de treballar també a nivell català dels diferents llocs per trobar aquestes Acknowledged Regions, Innovative Cities, Rural Innovation. Catalan, 85% of his territory is rural. Last thing, governance. We have developed a complex system of governance, very complicated, from the Parliament, with a specific body for science and technology. I think Comilla is working there, with a a Catalan Council for Research and Innovation, a new interministerial, interministerial approach, better coordination, better coordination and reporting between the government, the agencies. And last, money. Money is important. R&D extended in Catalonia has been increased a lot since uh, eight years ago. The last research and innovation plan has, uh, has been completed successfully in, uh, with uh, the expenditure. That's what, that is just the, 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 exp the uh, expected expenditure. And at the first time is the pr competitive, oh sorry, the salaries that goes for research and innovation is the same that the money with the dark blue that goes to programs or to research infrastructures. And look the difference only in eight years. Here it was only 10 mil 100 million. Here there is 500 million. This is already is a despesa executada, no es presupuestada. Well, this is uh, money from outside. And the last, of course, uh, we, we take money from Spanish government programs, from European Innovation, uh, European Union programs. Last word, R&D is a clear priority, sure, so let's go. So in these times of crisis, this, uh, this plan says this, so we're going to increase a lot in the, in the next years. I stick for, eh? So, one minute, one minute, Mensch, half minute. So, and somebody asked me, uh, and all these wonderful policies, you, you, they want to remain after the, if the government change? The answer is, I think so. Because we got something that is good, that for the first time, all the political parties, men ciutadans, has been joined together and say, okay, these policies, we agree with these policies, at long term view. Summary. We got a long-term Catalan, Catalan commitment. We got a broader R&D approach with emerging targets as non-technological innovation and innovation in the public sector. We got focus on challenges, not in, in, in disciplines or in sectors. We got R&D as an overarching policies through all departments, not only health department or agriculture department. All departments are speaking about this and also putting money that's more relevant. R&D policy is aligned completely with the new European Innovation Strategy and still we have persistent weaknesses. O sigui, hem de treballar encara fort.